they were gonna talk about I thought he was the one or I thought she was the one so many people are hurting because you realize that the person that you were dating or in courtship with they weren't the one they let you down they hurt you maybe they got what they wanted and they walked away see we're gonna we're gonna talk about this thing today we're gonna be real transparent you know because a lot of people you're just disappointed and you fall into the trap and saying i hate all men or i hate all women all men are dogs xyz but the fact of the matter is that you ignored god's counsel or you didn't take the time out to hear what god was saying you ignored the red flags or you failed to realize the advice of godly counsel in your life when people around you said something ain't right about him or her but you failed to ignore it so we're going to talk today about i thought he or she was the one see i've been hurt before it's just bad breakups and you know I, I played a part in that because whenever your mother or your father your church mother your church father spiritual mother mentor whoever the person that prayed you through when you were in your broken times the person that um, you know was able to help you stay on the straight and narrow path I failed to listen to that Therefore, at the end of the day, I got hurt. So, let me tell you how awesome God is. You know, see, see, the word tells us so much about godly counsel. Amen. He tells us, you know, and in, in, in Proverbs, that where there's no guidance, you know, people falls. But in abundance of counselors, there is safety. Why would God put so many people in our lives to speak life into us, to counsel us and airy you know different areas of our life is so you can make better decisions in life because sometimes people don't know i know how it feels to oh be so infatuated with somebody and then at the end of the day your eyes start waking opening up like oh this ain't the person no this, this ain't the one all right you are out of order when you can go to your spiritual parents or those leaders in your life for everything else but your relationship is off limits like they can't have no say so you know i'm talking about in courting before you get married you know and then when it falls apart then you want to go to them come on now this is why so many people get hurt because you know it seems like other people around us they can see certain things in a person because the word tells us that love is blind and I, I know sometimes we want to turn a blind eye and like oh my god and, and, and overlook that the person that we're courting or dating or relationship has a lust problem that the person that we are interested in has a wondering eye or that person that we are considering spending a lifetime with you know cheated on us before but we want to forgive them and uh pray that it don't happen again or that that person that we're, we're, we're uh courting with is uh, a muslim or some kind of religion and we, we think that we can change them see whenever you become infatuated with somebody it's like you just you overlook all their flaws and you just don't care then at the end of the day you get hurt you get hurt because you know you overlook that person was full of lust and they end up cheating on you you overlook that person uh that they were cheating on you in the first place and then when you got married they cheated on you again you overlooked the fact that the person had an anger issue and then when you married he wanted to punch on you and beat on you and give you two black eyes so you thought he was the one you thought she was the one you're hurting see you you overlook that person you thought they had a spiritual life with god and they were just as spiritual as you but you failed to realize they were sent from the enemy and they caused you to stumble in your walk they cause you to cross the boundaries. You end up giving your body away. So you thought he or she was the one. Now you, you're you hurt. And that person done moved on with their life. They done moved on and they probably done moved to the next one. And you're, you're sitting up here stuck. See, we have to be careful. We have to be careful not to make hasty decisions. 
amen not not to rush certain things and uh not to get outside of um the will of god you know sometimes we you just gotta wait on god we gotta wait on god's counsel we gotta either pray fast you know and and say god i need direction god lead my steps lord god order my steps god and even pray this prayer because i prayed this prayer you guys and when i prayed this prayer it worked i got hurt but it worked i said god anyone that don't belong in my life remove them and he did and then i was like why am i losing people why am i losing friends so we got to pray certain prayers uh ask god to expose uh, people in our lives with the wrong motives ask God to uh, expose the people that don't mean us any good or people that are sent from the enemy that cause us to stumble and fall and wait on God you know let him direct your path amen before we make hasty decisions so many people they jump in relationships and they don't seek God about it until uh, the relationships start falling apart or after they find somebody then they want God to bless it but we should have sought God in the first place. So you thought he or she was the one and you're hurting. You're hurting. You know, you, you hurt when you find out who this person really is. You find out what are their motives. You find out what they've been doing. You know, maybe they have another family on the side. Maybe they live in a double lifestyle. Maybe they've been in the closet or coming out the closet, whatever. And, and you get hurt. This is why... We have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit because uh, in, in Isaiah chapter 30, um, I think it's verse 21, and it says, you know, your ears should hear a voice. Amen. This is the way. Walk in it. All right. When you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, it means God wants to speak to you. I, I know one thing. And I thank God for this. Before any major thing happens in my life, God, he will warn me. He will tell me like the next phase of my life. It has always been like that. You know, if I was getting ready to get pregnant, he'll let me know. If I was getting ready to get married, he'll let me know. Just things like that. So we got to have a relationship with people. So, Samson. I'm going to talk about Samson for a minute. And Deli Delilah. Everybody also want to talk about Delilah. We know she was trifling. You know, we know she wasn't no good. Um, but it was Samson's fault. He played a part in that. I know people probably haven't, you know, taught you this or talked about this from this perspective. But uh, me and uh, my husband read uh, the book of, you know, Judges the other day. And I was reading about wicked women in the Bible. I was reading about Samson. Samson, even though he was God's man, God used him mightily as a judge against the Philistines. You know, he went against God. He sinned against God. He felt like he can do what he wanted to do. Before he was even born... You know, he uh, was called. He couldn't uh, cut his hair. and He had to live a certain lifestyle. But he went against that. He went against that. And he went into fornication. He went into a harlot. And just, uh, he saw a, a lady named Delilah. Now, four times she betrayed him. Four times. You know, she was a hire. She didn't love him. You know, you know, four times she tried to see what his strength was, see what his strength was. And he, he kept telling her, he kept telling her why, because he thought she was the one. After the first time you betrayed me and the Philistines bust in my room and try to tie me up and bow me, I wouldn't trust you no more. See, this is the problem. Some of you guys, you, you hurt because you, you felt betrayal, betrayal sucks. The one person that you just want to love and spend the rest of your life with stabs you in the back, lets you down. Well, you got to see the signs. See, Samson, he ignored the signs four times. And the fourth time, it resulted in his eyes getting plucked out and him getting bound. And his hair getting shaved off and the spirit of God on his life leaving him. You don't want the anointing on your life to leave. You don't want, you know, to miss what God has for you. You don't want to be outside of the will of God. Because you sit up here and ignore red flags. Because you aren't sensitive to the Holy Spirit. That you're not uh, listening to the checks that the Holy Spirit is giving you. See, one thing I, I thank God for. That when people that try to connect to me. If I don't feel it. Uh, if I feel vexed or something by them. I cut it off. I cut it off. 
you know, there was this guy, he called himself an apostle. And uh, for a season, we connected uh, for, to do ministry. But I just kept getting checks in my spirit, checks in my spirit. And the more, at first I tried to ignore it, like, mm, let me give him a chance. But then the more I got to know this person, I realized he was an adulterer. I think he was like 50 years old and his wife was 70 and he was looking around for his uh, next wife and I said hold up hold up what are you doing I said well, how are you gonna try to look for your next wife and the wife you got now is still living what is this come to find out he was sleeping with his minister that I knew it was just a, it was just a big mess and I was like no wonder I had checks and che I was getting checked every time I talked to him checks like the Holy Spirit was just vexed inside of me we got to pay attention hey, amen because God is trying to warn you so I pray that you have a sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. I pray that, you know, you will recognize the red flags and don't ignore them. But you will heed to the Holy Spirit's warning. So you don't get hurt. So your destiny and purpose is not destroyed. So the anointing on your life is protected. All right. So anyone on here that's listening to me today that's been hurt, just step out in faith, lay hands on your heart. And I send forth the fire of God upon you right now. I pray God's peace upon you. I pray healing in your heart that God will make you whole. I pray strength upon you. And I pray that you will heed to his spirit. And you will heed to godly counsel in your life. And that you will no longer ignore red flags. And that you will get in God's will for your life. And you will allow God to lead you in every decision that you make. And I decree and declare that the next person in your life will be the right person. I, I, I come against counterfeits in Jesus' name. All right, team. I love you. I pray this blessed you. I'll talk to you later. Deuces.